find the dwarf, get the food back. All right. Uh, save his progress. Uh, <clears throat> say help possum. Okay, help possum. Ah, what's what are we gonna do here? Things I do for little kids to help them out. Figure out what to do here. Oh my goodness. As a little man runs out of the door, which has been built into a tree, okay. you surmise that you have found the culprit's home. The vague aroma of chicken soup confirms it. That fiend. Get out of the door. Get in. Get in. What is this? There's a door built into the trunk of a large tree. It hasn't quite latched and is partially open. All right, get in there. Finding the door ajar, you cautiously open it and step inside the tree. All right, go inside. This is a room inside the hollowed out trunk of a large tree. A door goes to the outside. A narrow ladder leads down through a hole in the ground. Huh, <laughs> neato. All right, save our progress as a place as dwarf, dwarf tree. The ladder goes down through a hole in the ground. All right, let's go climb down. Underground. You are in a musty underground passageway. There's a narrow ladder leading up through a hole in the ground. You are in a musty underground passageway. All right, continue on here. Okay, nice. Underground uh, home there. The fire crackles merrily in the fireplace. These rough-hewn stumps resemble a makeshift dining table suite. You imagine that a real dining table suite must be next on the dwarf's to-steal list. Oh, knife. A very sharp knife has been stabbed into the table. Its blade reflects the light from the burning fire. Get the, th get the knife right now. That's not a knife. The knife you found under a rock one time? Now that was a knife. I want the knife. That's not. That's not. Jeez. The elaborate display cabinet sitting to one side of the room looks heavy and expensive. You begin to wonder how the tiny dwarf managed to move it all the way down here by himself without damaging it. Okay. Some inexpensive looking pictures decorate the shelves. The dwarf must have stolen these from a traveling merchant as the designs on them look foreign. There is a pot of chicken soup boiling over the fire. Can I grab it? You grab the handle of the bubbling pot of chicken soup. You take it with you. Let's look at the chicken soup. The pot contains hot, bubbling chicken soup. A little sample of it? You sip the hot soup. Yum. All right, so it's a good soup. You notice the shelf is located quite high up on the wall for such a small dwarf. Then you see the barrel on the table, and things start to make sense. The dwarf must climb on it whenever he needs access to the shelf. Moving the barrel would not be wise. Somebody might know that you are here. Okay. Those hats wouldn't fit you, fortunately. What's in this cap? What's in this uh chest? An old trunk rests in the corner of this hovel. 
Alright, um, dwarf tree, replace, uh, let's see here. Dwarf living room. An old trunk. Open the trunk, maybe. Upon opening the oh, trunk, nice. you find a number of items that the dwarf has obviously stolen and stashed away. Among them are some gold coins. They display the distinctive face of the first king. They could only have come from the magic chest of Daventry. Oh. Stole from the magic chest. These coins each have the distinctive face of the first king. They could only have come from the magic chest of Daventry. All right. The coins are all genuine. Real coins. These rough-hewn stumps resemble a makeshift dining table suite. You imagine that a real dining table suite must be next on the dwarf's to steal list. You hear the sound of the uh -oh. door creaking, followed by someone descending the ladder in the next room. Okay, now what I want to do? Get Thinking in, quickly. Get inside the trunk, quickly! The get in the trunk! Hide, hide, hide! The dwarf has entered his underground hovel. He doesn't Hopefully hear me. He won't discover you in here. Alright. He doesn't know where I am. Looking around. Picks up. No, it doesn't pick up the knife. Just looks around. Is it safe to come out yet? You sense that the coast is clear again. Alright. I think it's safe to come upstairs now. the ladder and it looks like the door creaked open again after the dwarf left the, the door is already open just walk through it all right let's help possum and grandma with the chicken you hear soup the latch fall into place again as the door closes behind you I've done enough here mission accomplished